Hey, good morning. I'm Bart Taylor with Keystone RV, and today I have Adam from Truck System Technologies with me, and we are going to go over this morning the most commonly asked questions with the Truck System Technologies tire monitoring system. So hey Adam, welcome. So question number one, what is the importance of tracking each and every tire, even the spare? Well, what's really great about our system and any TPMS is it, it brings peace of mind to the everyday consumer. Um, you know, with how powerful these struts are, you could keep going and have a blowout multiple miles back and never know. So having a tire pressure monitoring, knowing what's going on with your tires at all times, really brings that peace of mind because nobody wants to be stranded on the side of the road. Nobody wants to do, deal with that blowout that rips out the side, that rips out your lines and, and just causes all this damage. So having a tire pressure monitoring, knowing what's going on with your tires in real time, uh, it does the work for you. So you're not forced uh, to constantly be looking in the rear view mirror. Um, and what's really cool about that spare tire is I'm sure we've all had it, right? We've all had that blowout. We've had a flat tire. We've gone to get that spare tire and it is flat too, right? There's nothing worse than getting a blowout, having a flat tire and your spare tire, right? You go out there, you jack it up, you're ready to go. And all of a sudden your spare tire, now you're having to spend more time airing up your spare tire. So you're, it's solving two problems with one by monitoring your tires and your spare tire all at one time. Oh, great. I appreciate knowing that. And you're not wrong. When you have a blowout or any kind of trouble with tire and then you realize you don't have air in the spare, well, now your day is just doubly <laughs> bad. So yeah, that's good. So next question, what's the importance of monitoring temperature as well as pressure showing rubber or misalignment? How does monitoring those make that determination? So great question. Uh, temperature is probably, well, it's not probably, it is the second leading cause of tire failure, okay? Uh, a lot of people always talk about how they check their tire pressure before they leave, before they go on their trip. They're saying, hey, my tire pressure is great, but they're not checking the temperature. Temperature causes uh, tire failures more often than people think, right? It can lead to, uh, well, temperature can lead to a couple of things like maybe a bearing going bad, uh, a dragging brake caliber, something like that that's causing your tire to heat up abnormally. So knowing your temperature is gonna help alert you to a tire that's out of line because it's gonna cause that tire to heat up. You're also gonna know if you have a brake going bad or a bearing uh, because those are all common things that cause that tire to uh, heat up abnormally. So monitoring that temperature is vital to uh, knowing what's going on, like you said, if you have an alignment that's out or a bearing or something like that. So. All right, great. So with this uh, tire monitoring system of uh, pressure and temperature, I can see that easily on display while I'm driving down the road listening to my favorite music and counting uh, mile markers. So, Correct. All right, yeah. so that's a good benefit and a good yeah. feature for us. All right, so. so next question. How would we determine if the system is receiving false information, if it is receiving false information? So one thing we do with all of our kits, every kit that we sell, every unit that comes standard with it has our signal booster. So what that signal booster is doing is it's ensuring that you have no false information. The one thing that's cool about our system is it's either going to work or it's not going to work. Okay. And with this booster, it's going to ensure that the signal gets to the monitor without any interference. I like to think of it as a protective barrier, right? It creates this cloud or aura around us. So anytime you get any interference or anything that might cause a disruption in the signal, it's almost blocking that out and it's making sure that the signal that the tires are sending gets to your monitor without any interference. Because the last thing we want to do is have a false reading, we get pulled over and we find out nothing's going on. So that repeater is vital to making sure that, that there is no fault uh, with the monitor or any false signal. Okay, so Adam, great. Um, next question. Sensors have individual batteries in each one. Mm -hmm. um, what should I, the owner, uh, do periodically? How, how will I know if I'm good or need it, it needs attention? So our, sig or our batteries, if it's coming standard, we have multiple different sensors. 
But if you have the ones that come standard from Keystone, they're gonna be our internal or internal sensors. And we say they have about a five year battery life on this, okay? So after five years, uh, typically that battery's gonna go bad, but you're gonna generally have up to five years with that, uh, with that sensor. Okay, so. that's good to know. So as an owner, I can spec uh, somewhere around the five year mark that normal maintenance would be required and I'd need to upgrade, swap them out. Correct. All yeah. right, good to know. Uh, next question, is there any significant importance of tire rubber valve stems versus metal valve stems? Uh, so with our system, we have a couple of different ones, metal or rubber, it, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, I know a lot of people like to go with the metal valve stems these days. Uh, most tires that are over 100 PSI, they're required to have metal valve stems, uh, but that does not affect our sensors and how they read or how they report. Our sensors are simply taking data that's inside the tire and it's transporting it to that monitor. So whether it's on metal, whether it's on rubber, it's not gonna affect the way the sensors read uh, or report to the monitor. Okay, so if I have additional trailers like a boat or a cargo trailer, how can I add sensors to those vehicles? Yeah, so uh, going back to our multiple different sensors that we have, uh, we have a flow through monitor, we have a cap, we have a hybrid, and then we have our internal sensors. What's really cool about the system when you buy your Keystone is that monitor has the ability to do four trailers and a tow vehicle. So if you wanted to add, uh, say you have a boat trailer or a cargo trailer, you can purchase additional sensors and you can program it to that monitor. So you're gonna have one monitor for multiple different trailer options uh, and you don't have to buy a whole new monitor. Uh, some trucks these days are, don't have it, uh, right? And there are some vehicles out there that don't have their own TPMS unit, which we do offer a couple of sensors as well that you can program it to your vehicle on your truck or car, whatever you have, and program it to the monitor. So you can monitor your truck and your, your trailer all on one screen. All right, I appreciate that information. Uh, also, Adam, I was just sitting here thinking, if I have an older RV, but it's been a good one and I don't want to let it go, yeah. how can I add that to this? Or maybe I buy a new Keystone and it doesn't come equipped with it. How yeah. can I go from the older or the new one as an owner? Yeah, so we have multiple different channels where you can buy an aftermarket kit. Uh, it's gonna include the same thing that you would get if it came standard from the factory. You're gonna get your monitors, you're gonna get our little signal repeater that we include with everything and all our kits. And then you choose how many sensors you need. So what's really cool about our monitor, you can do 115 tire positions. Now, I know that's a lot and probably most people aren't gonna have 115 tires, but it has the capability of monitoring as many. So you just choose how many sensors you need uh, and you get your monitor, you code it in and you just put it on your rig and away you go. Super. All right, so let's talk a little about the, uh, the actual sensors themselves. I got a, a rig and I've got TPMS. What should I set my high and low alerts to? Great question. So that's one of the more common questions we get. Everybody's always worried about, well, what should I set it at? Uh, what we recommend is we set the low pressure 10% below whatever you run, and we're gonna set the high about 20 to 25% above. What reason why we do 10% uh, is that the, at 20%, NHTSA considers that to be a flat tire, and that tire should be taken off, inspected. Most of the time, they're gonna say, you gotta replace it. So at 10%, we wanna give the person a warning so you don't get to that 20% threshold. Also, at 10% low, that tire can heat up up to 70 degrees, right? So that now causes the temperature to rise, which can cause a blowout to happen more frequently. Frequently, So at 10%, we're gonna give them a warning. Um, and then at 25%, we're gonna give them another warning. We're not so much worried about that high pressure increasing, but it is something we want to monitor because it is something that people need to be aware about. Um, as far as our temperature, we set it at 158. We recommend you don't ever touch it. Okay, we've done some testing. That's one of the nice things about our product that we do is we test everything we sell before we put it out on the market. So we took our system, uh, we took it out to Arizona when it was 120 degrees in the middle of July, and our tires never got to 158, okay? So if you ever get to that 158 threshold, there's probably something going on with your tires, like we talked about earlier, whether it's your alignment, whether it's your brakes or bearings, something's going on abnormally that's causing that tire to heat up. So at 158, that's when you should, probably should be concerned that something's going on with your tires. Oh man, that's good information, Adam. Yeah. So I have, as, a, as an owner, driving down the road, once I see my, my pressures and temperatures are in good shape, I can get back to my favorite tunes and sing along and, with and, it and enjoy the road so yeah. that just adam that leaves me with one last question 
Why do you not have TPMS? Very good question. Do you not care about your family? <laughs> I mean, that again, going back, that's one thing that we're always worried about. We want the end consumer, we don't want them to be on the side of the road, right? We don't want you to be on the side of the road. There's so many people that are on their phone texting, singing by you, going 75, 80 miles per hour, they're not paying attention. So the last thing you want to do is be on the side of the road trying to change a tire. If you have a TPMS, you're going to be able to know well in advance. You're going to get off the side of the road. You're going to get to safety. Um, it's going to make your life a lot easier. And of course, nobody ever wants that one person waving behind you, flagging you down because you had, you're dragging your RV on two tires right now. Yeah, I agreed. You don't want to be that guy. No. So Adam, that's good information and I can see the benefits uh, of the uh, Truck System Technologies TPMS system on our Keystones. So next question, let's talk about warranty a mm -hmm. little bit. Yeah, so our system comes with a three-year warranty from the day of purchase. So the moment you buy your RV, you are going to be covered up to three years with our system. Uh, what's really great about our warranty process is we're all local here in the United States. So we don't outsource any of our work. So if you call, you're going to get somebody here in the United States that's going to be able to help you. We're going to be able to troubleshoot over the phone. If we can't get your product to work over the phone, we have a process where you send your product in and we take care of it. We'll send you a new one at no cost to you. So you're not going to be out of pocket. Uh, and again, what, what I can't stress enough about our warranty is we have our own engineer team in our office. So if we can't figure out what's going on, we are one step away from giving it to our engineers so that we can solve that problem and that we can get you back on the road a lot quicker than a lot of other companies out there. Thanks for that great information, Adam. On the first year of warranty here at Keystone, we got you to take a load off of them. After that, you can reach out to Truck System Technologies and they can help you with all, their, all your needs. Hey, special thanks today to Adam of TST for sharing the pro tips and commonly asked questions about the TPMS. If you found this video helpful or have other suggestions to camp better, hey, leave us a comment. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel you can also download the Keystone app or visit KeystoneRV.com to see all of our content. And thanks for watching.